Hey guys, welcome back. We will continue with another intermediate algorithm scripting exercise. This one is called Steamroller. And all we need to do is flatten a nested array. But we must account for varying levels of nesting. Okay, so here are some examples like this one should return 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so this is a bit complicated, but I think we need to use recursion on this one because uh, we don't know how many uh, levels of nesting will be so we want something to be calling itself whenever it's needed okay uh, I think it will be more clear when we uh, write the code and let's get started right away now um, we want to to iterate through the elements of this uh, argument. The argument will be an array in itself. So let's just iterate through them. Let i equal to 0. I think there might be a better way to iterate in, in JavaScript using some in operator, but it doesn't matter. It's the same thing, just a little bit more of code writing. Now, uh, what we want to do here is we want to check each element if it is an array or uh, not. Okay, and for that, there's a ready function in JavaScript um, called array uh, dot is array, which belongs to the array object, and we can write something like this: if now array dot is array, and inside we just put an element of this array and we check if this one is as well an array like for example in this case it would return true also in this case okay we need now right here um, we need to do something we need to call the recursive function but let's let's leave it for a moment and write the base case so if it is not an array what we want to do is just uh, push it into let's create let or maybe call it var because we wanted to modify it flat array so I'm, I'm creating an empty array a flat array where I will put all the elements so in the base in the base case I just want flat array dot push r i Okay, so this is the base case. So if it is not an array, we just push it right away. But if it is uh, an array, now we want to call steamroll array again. And right here, we return the flat array. So what we want in this case is to just um, call again the steamroll array for this so we we call the recursive function for each array if it is again an array we go again even deeper into the levels of nesting and uh, we just right here we do steam we do flat array to be steamroll array and we want to give array i. Okay. Let's do a console log here. Now, there might be something not working, right? Okay. Okay, first thing that is not working is that this flat array needs to be outside, needs to be a global. Okay. Let's write this like this. And we have one, two, three, four, but we have all these undefined, which we don't need. Where is this happening? Okay. So right here, we have something. So where are all these undefined coming from? OK, 
Okay. We want... Oh. Yep, everything seems to be fine. Let's let's see. Ah, okay, I, I saw <laughs> it's just an error in the iteration. We don't need this equal <laughs> because I was getting more element than there was in the array. Okay, so this one seems to be working fine, but uh, we are using this flat array as a uh, the scope of this is global so we, we modify always this flat array. Now if we don't want to put this here we can just do something like this. We can uh, declare it as an argument of the function and that takes a default value. Let's try to write this down. Okay and now when we call the recursive function we just give again flat array and that does the same. Okay so this is the code and we were using recursion. Let's run the tests. Okay perfect. Okay guys um, that's it for this video. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.